Do you want my name first? Yeah. My name is Kelly Thayer. Jarrett Bell. Shireen Sasky. Jeff Gentner. Class of 81. Rick Goslin. I am the manager of tour media for the LPGA Tour. Now I'm the ringside reporter for the CBS Sports Network. This is the first ever Spartan Sports Journalism Classic. It's a day-long series of events to really bring professionals from Michigan State that are working in the field now and connecting them with J School students. I got hired at USA Today in 1993. Networking is, um, is golden, it really is. I think they still have to have the old school foundation of journalism. Students, the fun is just beginning. I came back because I think it's important to give back to journalism and to give back to the sports industry that gave back to me. The people that used to come to Michigan State and give us advice about being journalism students that's who I admired, that's who I wanted to be like and to come back and be able to speak in front of these classes and maybe have some influence on some other kids that maybe I could sway them one way or another to help them find out if this is the right career field for them. What sort of things do they absolutely hate from the media? They hate criticism. Pro athletes hate to be criticized. Sure, if you can, to get names of these guys and let them know who you are. Yeah. And you're going to be hearing from me. And thank you very much for the opportunity and all that. And send them a thank you note. And then follow it up and say, hey, is there something else that I can mean? You know, you're selling yourself hour after hour after hour. So, so really to kind of create a new opportunity to celebrate journalism at Michigan State. I think everybody in this room were definitely amazing Spartans, and they're definitely idols for all of us. Yeah. Thank you. Oh, you're welcome. Thank you. Get internships and, and get inv as involved in the field as you can. You need to have a really good journalistic base, and coming here to State really helped that. And L.A. Dickerson and Sue Carter. I knew I could call L.A. Dickerson and say, hey, I'm thinking about doing this internship, or do you know anyone associated with, with this newspaper? Uh, I'm trying not to cry. Most of these people were my students. And for them to pay their way to come back here and help the kids that I am today, 15 years later, it, um, 